Hey guys, it's uh, James from Bowhunter Planet, and today we're looking at the Tap Point M1. Um, we got a lot of questions about these uh, bows that have been on Amazon, right? It's a Chinese company. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of reviews on there. A lot of people have bought these. Um, so we've got a lot of questions asking, you know, are these safe? Do they work? What do you think? So we had a couple sent to us just to test, see how they work. Um, it comes with a whole, and you'll see the video. There's a whole box full of stuff. It's got all. It comes with every, pretty much every single piece of equipment you can need. Yeah. You know, a trigger release, sight, rest, stabilizer. Comes all set up. It's adjustable. <laughs> Yeah, it goes from um, 19 to 30 inches. It says it's up to 320 feet per second. This one is wasn't shooting close to that. We have it at 27 and probably shooting about 50 pounds uh, just to give it a test to see where we're at. Um, it, I mean, the shot okay. I think um, I think the thing about it is a lot of people, you know, they're looking maybe to try out archery, yeah. like get, you know, you want to buy a gift for your nephew or your or yeah. somebody like that. You know, maybe they're 15 years old, they've never shot a bow. You don't want to go out and invest $600. No. So you might want to, you know, get this, everything set up and you can try it out and see, well, you know what, this isn't bad and and uh, try it out and see if you're going to be interested in archery. Yeah. The, um, the whole package was $249 and it came with everything except yeah. broadheads. Um, so, I mean, it, it's something to look at. I mean, if, if you are trying to get into archery, right? And you're like, I don't want to go spend a thousand dollars on the whole setup. Yeah, or six hundred. I mean, you, you you look yeah. at you could probably I mean, yeah. But exactly. I mean, you're not gonna break the bank with this thing, and maybe you find out that archery is something you love and you move up or whatever. Um, you know, like I said, it comes with everything. It's already got you know, it's even got an arm yeah. guard which I haven't worn in years. Yeah. But I figure you, you know what, let's show. try it out. <laughs> uh, it does come with a release. You know, I obviously you know it's worth trying out. It, I think the first thing I would do if I had this bow is step up my release. Yeah, yeah. Either maybe a little safer at least. I mean, the bow sh the sh it shot all right. I mean, it wasn't pounding through the target at you know 15 yards. Yeah, but we, we also have, had it pretty low. Yeah, we don't have a maxed out. So that's, um, that's if, if you maxed it out, I'm sure it. It comes you know, in a lot of different you know camo designs. And I mean, they got a bloody look, girl look at camo. Me, look at me and pink. Yeah, that's a nice pink bow you got there. <laughs> I think they got a bunch of different colors, and uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it, you, you know, we we get the questions, and you know, we thought we we definitely give it a shot, and you know, kind of see what people were talking about you know, when they ask us that question. You yeah. know, we can't we can't give them a good answer unless we yeah unless we test it out, test lab, and try it out, and uh, and see you know for something that's coming totally set up for archery and out of the box. Uh, you know, you're gonna yeah. have to make some adjustments with sighting it in and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, and the main reason people are looking at these, and I think that one, they're very new to archery, uh -huh. probably never done it before, and two is the price point. Because you, you walk out with 250 bucks. Well, let's face it too, we have a lot of international um, audience yeah. watching Test Lab, and you know, you might be, you know, from another country, and and you want to try archery out, you know, or you want to get into it this might be an answer how to do that yeah. without breaking the bank mm -hmm. so, yeah. that's the m1 from tap point and uh we'll catch you next time